Very good. Thank you, Nash. Uh, you know, anytime we have a storm like this, we always hope and pray that there is no loss of life. But uh, sadly, now we can say that that is not going to be the case with this one. I believe this is the first storm related fatality we may have heard of this evening. But here's what happened. This is on I-75 and I-275 I and I-4, Malfunction Junction right there in Tampa. And you can see, um, see the emergency vehicles. Now look over to the left side and there's a large sign that's down. Well, FHP tells us that that sign fell on a car and this was fatal. Uh, someone died as a result of this, unfortunately. Um, still emergency crews on scene and a, a, a reminder that authorities want people to stay off the roads at this hour with the wind still being significant out there. And you know, in the past hour, we really saw the rain, the wind really intensify in our northern counties. About an hour ago, Fox 13's Jennifer Bagless was out there in the elements getting lashed by the rain and wind in Hernando County. Let's check back in with her now, hoping for better conditions. Live in Hernando Beach, there she is. Uh, Jennifer, maybe not dried off, but are things looking better now? Chris, I think you cursed me because just seconds ago, it was no wind, no wind gust or anything, and things have just picked up once again. We've been kind of seeing those uh, wind gusts kind of coming in and out, but yes, we have moved a little bit further inland uh, uh, along US-19. We're here at a Walmart parking lot. This is right on the border of Hernando Beach and uh, Spring Hill, but right behind me here, there are dozens of cars that uh, are parked in this parking lot, either sitting vacant, you know, moving to a uh, higher ground that's safer for them. Um, also, we're seeing some campers and it's very clear that there are people actually staying uh, in their campers over here. But um, since Helene has began to um, kind of pass through this area, we've seen a lot of down vegetation pooling in this parking lot. You can see behind me there's even uh, a tree branch that has kind of snapped. Um, now, in the last hour, if you were tuning in, we did introduce you to a Hernando Beach resident who lives in the Gulf Coast community. Um, he was really bracing for the impacts all day today with sandbags, you know, boarding up, all that kind of stuff. And uh, he was sticking around and he stuck around for uh, the last storms. He and the uh, no-name winter storm. So he's really hoping that it won't be the same case this time around. Well, I'm surprised that it isn't uh, worse than it is, and I'm glad that it's not. Um, we had water over the top of the seawall uh, back in November and for Adelia and into the pool and not much in the house, but um, this time the water is down... When we were on Hernando Beach earlier, there were Hernando County deputies uh, going up and down the streets uh, with their sirens on, with a loudspeaker telling residents that they need to evacuate. Uh, this was earlier this afternoon, but obviously it's too late for residents to uh, evacuate at this time. So, of course, the advice is to shelter in place. Um, of course, as those winds begin to pick up and we're seeing those white caps uh, along the uh, Gulf waters, it's, it's uh, certainly a reason to stay sheltered and, and hunker down. Back to you, Chris. All right, Jennifer Vegas is live for us in Hernando Beach. And what Jen was just mentioning there, we actually have some video and sound here of the sheriff's office going down the streets, uh, warning people to evacuate when they evacuated zones A, B, and C. This is what that sounded like. We have an enhanced law enforcement presence out there in Hernando Beach. Uh, we will be patrolling, actively patrolling all of the neighborhoods. Uh, once we receive the all clear and it is safe to return, uh, we ask that you remain away until the all clear comes in. Uh, and if you do not leave the beach, uh, hopefully you'll be in a secure area. We do advise you do leave the beach uh, under the mandatory evacuation. Uh, that way you will be, not only will you be safe, but you will not be placing uh, any first responders in jeopardy uh, if we need to come and rescue you. So once again, we ask you to safely evacuate. We will be there and we look forward to uh, getting you all clear and get you, getting you all back safely to your homes.